Welcome back to Busted Open. Doug Mortman, Mike Riker, joined by Santino Morella, who's doing some really, really good work uh, in terms of trying to eradicate all the bullying that's going on in America. He's going to be on July 2nd uh, at the Dare to Test Your Limits party at Dylan's Candy Bar right here in New York City. Santino and Juicy Drops official luchador, you're not going to believe this one, Senior Sour, are bringing the action to kids to help them push their boundaries a bit further and, most importantly, stand up to bullying. Santino, what's going on, man? Tell us about the event. Well, the event, to be honest, is a real party. We're having a Dare to Test Your Limits party at Dylan's Candy Bar in New York City. And uh, I'm a little bit nervous because I know Senior Sour, he can really handle the sour food. And I'm not so good. My sister used to beat me with the sour contest. So, but of course, I'm a competitor, so I will try my best. It says you have some dares there. What kind of dares are you expecting from the kids there? I think we have some. We, we have the wheel. You spin the wheel, and then uh, the dares are on the wheel. So the kids get to spin their own destiny. <laughs> Seems like something we've seen on Monday Night Raw before. So we'll see how that all works out. Uh, Santino, tell yes, us. We have definitely yes. seen some wheels on <laughs> Monday Night Raw. <laughs> yes, we have. So, in all seriousness, though, you know the the essence of what you're doing is really, really important in terms of the anti-bullying campaign uh, that WWE has been on on a crusade for over a long period of time, uh, and you're just furthering it here on this July second event right here in New York City at Dylan's Candy Bar. Uh, you know, talk about your experiences with bullying. Uh, have you been bullied before? Um, and what do you? What's the message to the kids when you get in front of them? Well, bullying is a very, very serious issue, and, and with kids these days, and especially now with the cyber bullying, this is a, a real, a real epidemic. But I mean, the WWE does this amazing things with the Be a Star campaign and uh, events like this one here. You know, the test there to test your limit party. But my experience with bullying was, I mean. You always see kids, and bullying can range from just saying something nasty to, of course, physical violence. And uh, kids are always saying mean things to one another. And I think the, the real root, core of it, is to develop children that are strong and have a well-balanced life and a high level of self-actualization and realization and to live by the golden rule, to do unto others as you'd have them do to you. And that, uh, I mean... That's really the, the core. And, of course, kids that don't do that, we initiate this campaign to try to help them uh, reduce the amount of bullying in, uh, everywhere, everywhere, but the schoolyard, too, you know. Santino, we haven't seen much of you lately on uh, WB television. What have you been up to? All right, I've been there. I had a match uh, last week, and uh, I did some of the panel, you know, the uh, pre-show, post-show panel. So I'm keeping myself active. I actually um, put my name in the hat to become the potentially the next general manager, so we'll see how that goes. But, uh, you know, I'm growing up now. I'm not little baby anymore. <laughs> That's right. Vicky Guerrero, uh, no longer part of the company. So, uh, yes, there is an opening for SmackDown GM. If uh, uh, Really, Raw yeah. GM, too. I mean, you could have both gigs if you wanted. Yes, yes, I could be both. Um, I couldn't figure the little resume. I don't know who to give it to in the office, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, you'll figure out who, who to give the resume to. Um, you know, look, you're, you're a, a multi-time former champion. Uh, you've done a lot in this business. What can we expect, you know, moving down the road for Santino? And, you, and what's going on with them? Are you guys still hooked up there? Yeah, I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm just spinning my tires, you know. I, uh, she's a little bit oblivious to my efforts, I think, sometimes. I try to do nice things for her to show her that, uh, you know, I like her. And, and, you know, she likes, she doesn't get it. Or then I saw that movie last week, and the movie was, maybe she's just not into you so much. And I think to myself, come on, that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Santino, you're a two-time IC champion, U.S. champion, tag champion. You know, when can we see you uh, going after those titles? Well, it was, uh, it's been documented. My neck has been giving me some issues over the last year. So I'm really trying to get my neck perfect right now because, you know, I'm the kind of uh, 
wrestler that likes to stick his nose right in the action, but unfortunately your nose is, is attached to your head, which is attached to your neck, so I have to be careful. Well, yes. I mean, you should probably eliminate the whole uh, dropping your head on people uh, out of the, uh, the the move repertoire. You know what? I never thought of that. <laughs> you know, I try. Um, I, I, here's something in terms of just relating things back to the anti-bullying campaign. Who's who's the biggest bully in the WWE? The biggest bully? Oh, man. Right now, I would have to say Triple H because he's using his... His, uh, you know, Hunter Horst Helmsley, um, he's using his, his well, of course, his intimidating size, he's a big, strong guy, but he's using his position to do, like, a bully, I think. And, uh, you know, in time, the bully always gets it in the end, what he deserves. So hopefully that plays through here as well. You know, Santino, we have money in the bank coming up this weekend. Uh, what's your picks there? Uh, do you see uh, uh, someone else besides John Cena winning that title? Man, this is a very interesting match because you have so many guys that uh, have been champions before and can easily be a champion again. Um, there's some young picks. Of course, young superstar Roman Reigns, this guy. If, if I was eight years old again, probably he would be my favorite. <laughs> um, Randy Orton, of course, anytime. Del Rio, anytime. Shamus, anytime. These guys... So sometimes these types of matches, the money in the bank, it's, it's about uh, not beating one opponent. It's about looking around, and when everybody is, uh, you know, like destroyed and there's carnage everywhere, you have to climb the ladder. So it's very, very unconventional. And because of this, anyone can win. Sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, like where if you, let's say you're a race car driver. And everybody gets in an accident, and you might be in last place, but if you didn't get in an accident, you're going to win. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great point, and that's part of the exciting part of Money in the Bank come Sunday. I mean, it's anything can happen with those two ladder matches. And we're also equally excited uh, for the, uh, the Money in the Bank contract match. Uh, Seth Rollins seems like an overwhelming favorite, but, uh, you know, Triple, Triple H, or as you would say, Triple H, uh, did just, uh, yeah. you know, give our, the rundown of the seven guys or the six guys that will go up against Seth Rollins in that match. Anybody in particular you're looking for to, uh, to grab that briefcase from the top of the ladder? Um, Dolph Ziggler is always mm. a threat in this match. Um, Kofi Kingston is always a threat in this match. These guys are super athletic, and uh, they can, you know, climb that ladder very fast. Very fast. You know, Santino, we follow you on Twitter. Talk a little bit about this Bal Arts Academy that you have going on. Uh, I saw some pictures of, of yes. you with Ric Flair and stuff, so a lot of good stuff going on there, right? Yeah, I, I built a training facility in uh, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, called Battle Arts Academy. And um, it's a multi-purpose facility. We have a complete MMA training. We have complete professional wrestling training. And we actually, I designed into the facility itself a place for our students to put on the shows, to, to learn how to wrestle in front of people. And uh, this seems to be the, the, the hidden gem of the place. Now we do events for other things, like we had Ric Flair for a meet and greet and a Q&A period and um, other seminars and boxing matches and kickboxing. And So we're really getting into the events. But uh, the bread and butter, of course, is our athletes. And we have very, very uh, high-quality trainers and some young up-and-coming kids that are going to make waves in, in boxing, in, in MMA, in pro wrestling, uh, everywhere. We're, yeah. a, we're a master of all trades and a jack of none. <laughs> 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 That's awesome stuff, Santino. Listen, this is a, a really, really good event you're doing. July 2nd, Dare to Test Your Limits party. That's a Dylan's Candy Bar right here in New York City. It's a Wednesday. So if you can get there, that's where you want to be, 2.30 p.m. Eastern, July 2nd. Santino's there. He's going up against Senior Sour. Who knows what kind of crazy action will ensue. Most importantly, Yeah, it's, come and say hello. Come and meet me. We're going to take pictures, give away prizes. It's really going to be a fun party. And, of course, it is for a great cause. And you get to find out your limits with sour candy. Right. That's the most important. Well, not the most important. That's the most fun part. Yes, that's definitely not the most important, but I, I am a big fan of sour candy, so uh, I might be rooting oh, for Oh, really? Yes, Maybe yes. you should come and uh, challenge 
see your sour contest. <laughs> I, I'm bringing my kids uh, Wednesday, Santino, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh, okay. It's going to be a good time, then. We're going to have fun. That's awesome. And like you said, Santino, the most important thing is standing up uh, you know, against bullying. Uh, WWE at the forefront of this, their Be A Star campaign and everything they do surrounding anti-bullying. Uh, just tremendous work by you and your colleagues. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you very much.